what's going on everybody what's going on today welcome to another video it's your boy getting a game and today we are going to be um covering um tips for new players and um beginners um just to help you uh new players out so let's get right into it so um <clears throat> as a new player uh you're going to start off with this map right here um, well, actually, you're going to start off with one district at a time. Um, and as you progress, you're going to open up another district. So I believe this is uh, the first district you start off with. It's called the Melting Pot. Um, the second district, <clears throat> I believe it's called um, the Downtown District. Covers all these uh, towns you see here. And then the final district. The last one, the third one, I believe it's called uh, Brixton. Um, now, once you unlock all your stars, um, you're going to be able to do something which what is called um, open map, where you're going to be able to, if you press R1 on PS5, as you can see, and it's RB on Xbox, you hit, you hit that. <clears throat> You'll play. You'll be able to play Open Patrol, um, where you can now. If you look at the upper right hand corner, you'll see I have 37. Um, my badge level is at 37. Sometimes I say badge points, but that's what I'm referring to. And that, um, <clears throat> and the higher you go up, um, the harder it is to, not harder, but the. Um, so I'm at 37. The next. Uh, at level 30, to reach level 38, I have to um, reach 11,400 XP points. Um, so um, you'll get to that eventually. Um, getting ahead there, but let's just go back. Let's go. Oops, hold on. Sorry. Let's just go back. So we're gonna start off. Um, we're gonna actually do a foot patrol. Um, because as a new player, as a beginner, you're going to start off um, on Foot Patrol. Now you can see I have all my stars unlocked. So today, the tips I want to give you is how to pretty much get through the game um, uh, rather quickly um, by um, earning XP points um, throughout uh, your shift uh, rather quickly so you can unlock all the necessary tools and other cool features out there like the cars so we're gonna get right into it um let's see here uh we're actually gonna start in Colin we're gonna do a foot patrol in Colin here because that's very busy and we're gonna pick um I don't want this to be too long I don't want to do an hour shift um let's do because um, I want to cover a lot of stuff, but let's do it 20 minutes. I don't want to be too long, but I'm just going to cover some basic things. So we're going to do a 20 minute shift. All right. So before we start, tip um, uh, tip number one as a new player, as a beginner, um, utilize this. It's your handbook. If you have any questions, it's a how-to handbook. It covers a lot of stuff. Um, so if you want to cover how to deal with, uh, you know, just 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 go through these. And um, it's a lot. I don't want to go through all this, but make sure you just utilize this handbook. Um, especially felonies is uh, really good when dealing with uh, different violations and how to go about them. Um, I have previous videos and tutorials to help you with um going about uh certain uh, felonies and violations in the game another cool tip i like to share if you go to tools here um you're gonna get to uh you're gonna get to sit no i'm sorry if you go to action you're gonna get to uh you're gonna be in a lot of situations where you want to know if you're able to frisk or search a person because in this game you can't just go up to somebody and search them you got to have like reasonable suspicion probable cause things like that so there's a difference between frisking and searching, but if you go to your, um, if you go to actions and you go down to evidence, 
I always utilize this. And if you go down, it's going to tell you uh, what's allowed for frisking, what's allowed for searching. You always want to look at their behaviors. Um, the f you always want to get feedback from the person you're talking to. And monitor their behavior. So, okay, you're a new player, you're a beginner to the game, you want to... Uh, want to rank up fast uh, just know um so when I first started off I was doing um, doing a lot of uh, traffic like parking issue uh, parking and towing that's going to take a lot of time you what you really want to do is increase your interaction with the NPCs um, and if you want to max if you want to maximize your points throughout a shift you really want to try to get a, uh, as many arrests as you can because you get a lot of points out of arrests. Also, if you um, if you are doing a foot patrol, um, and we're gonna stop some of these jaywalkers. Uh, if we're if we're doing a foot patrol, we come across the ax. If you come across the accident, take that because in um, when covering the accident, there's a lot of things that can, uh, that can unfold. You can uh, end up arresting somebody, searching their car. Um, performing a DUI test, uh, things of that nature. So that, with that, with all that combined, um, your points can um, add up. Um, but for starters, um, you want to try to be in a busy area. And on top of that, you want to uh, just interview as many people as you can. Some people are going to have those warrants you're looking for, those arrests. Uh, so, look for those jaywalkers. Look for people who are uh, littering. So, uh, I just witnessed like two, observed like two people jaywalk and litter. Um, don't worry, it's gonna, um, we're gonna get another one. And this is Callahan. This is the second map that you open. Just had someone litter. Someone just lit her. So you look for that arrow on top of them, and it's the lady is all the way up there. So we got to catch up to her. And we're going to stop her. For We're going to detain her for littering. I had to detain you because I saw you littering. Seriously? I did nothing wrong. So get her ID. Show me your ID, please. Sure. Here you go, officer. It's always good to get their ID. And now, possibly a, could be stolen, but it could be her. But you just want to investigate. Always on the ID, little quick tip. Make sure that the uh, gender matches the person. As you see, it says sex F for female. So we know that matches her. And make sure when you, okay, Vir Viridian Hicks. So let's just. Run her. Bow. As I uh, just as I uh, stated, she has an open warrant. So this is the that interaction. Um, as a new player, if you want to rank up fast, you want to get these little interactions. They could turn into uh, something so small could turn something so big. So she has an open warrant. Now, the being that we already know she has an open warrant, we could go ahead and search her. Uh, also, she doesn't have a gun permit. Um, just because someone has a gun. In their possession on this game I'm not talking about reality um, and in their car doesn't mean it's illegal it's only I believe and correct me if I'm wrong um, others who are watching but um, it's only illegal when they do not have the gun permit um, so okay so she has an open warrant we're gonna search her now so and don't forget, don't forget the initial stop was for littering, so we can issue her a ticket first. I have to find you for littering, which will cost you twenty-five dollars. So much money for such a little infraction. Now we know he has an open warrant. We're we'll search her. The search, please cooperate. Um, we cannot. We're not. Um, we don't have the ability to stack charges if we find an illegal item. But that's not the case. Nothing illegal there. And now we're just gonna arrest her for um, having an open warrant. You're under arrest for having an open warrant. So, no, don't, please, officer. So also, as a new player, 
uh, beginner, you're not going to be able to uh, transport. Um, at one point, you're not going to be able. At one point, you will be able to transport. Transport. I'm sorry, but um, when you first start off, you're not going to do that. So you're going to call for your backup. But I like um, escorting and transporting um, prisoners because you get extra points for that, and that's later throughout the game. So. Um, for, um, for the sake of the video, who that's gonna call for uh, transport? Up to take a suspect into custody. Understood. The closest available unit will be dispatched to your location. And that's an extra 15 points. Well, now we're at 72. Uh, we have some. I just wait around for the transport. Um, there we go. Sometimes they get stuck. Oh, there she. Or he. I just pulled up next to you, partner. I'll be there soon. There he is. All right. I'm here to take your suspect into custody. All right, Please. so we keep going. So again, those small little infractions like littering and jaywalking could lead to arrest, and that's what you want. Also, there's our jaywalker there. Also, we have someone drinking in public. You want to look for that? You can detain this guy. Um. We're going to detain him. He's not under arrest. You're being detained for drinking in public. I'll not stop yet. Drinking now. Sorry, officer. And he still has a bow in his hand, so we're going to ask Please his show ID. Me your ID. Sure, officer. Here you go. All righty. Okay, we see he's a male. So that matches. Not a fake ID. Um, he has a doesn't have a gun permit. So, the fact that he's drinking in public, um, um, I we it doesn't doesn't give us um probable cause to just search him. Um, it becomes probable cause to uh search him when we smell alcohol. You gotta look for that indication. When you interact with the NPC, so we didn't get that, um, and that's because the, and being that he's drinking in public doesn't mean he's necessarily um, intoxicated. So we gotta remember that too. So we're just gonna issue him for drinking in public. To find you that's only ten public. points. It will cost you three hundred dollars. Oh come on, that's so much money. All right, he looks really sad. It's fun. I'm let him go. Have a nice day. All right. So. Excuse me, officer. Can you help uh, me, please? Uh, um. Now, when people ask for help like this, uh, you lock you unlock this later in the game, not in the beginning. Excuse me, officer. But when Could you, you help, help them, out, please? you only get like two points. So I usually just I use this ignore them. Um. Also, when you're in foot patrol, that's just. Run away from him because he's gonna keep asking. We may have to go back to him because he's gonna keep asking. But also, when you're in foot patrol, you can't observe vehicles and stop them. But make sure you have probable cause to stop them. So you have something. If you go to your tools, eventually, um, I believe, like all this stuff I have here. Um, when you're a new player, you don't have access to all this. You gotta unlock it throughout the game. But when you get this sign, the quit pull over sign, you can simply all right we're gonna stop that guy up there but you can simply pull go pull cars over so i'll show you what i mean but let's just stop this guy here um he littered see if we can get a rest out of this rack up some more points we'll detain you for littering the reason you're being detained is because i saw you litter come on officer nobody does that in the 21st century anymore the person seems very confident so okay Seems very confident. So, Would you show me your ID, please. That's okay, um. There you go. That's a good sign. Let's just check his background. Up oh, here we go again. These 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 small interactions with with the uh, with pedestrians could turn into something else. So obviously that's not him, and he's going to be going to jail now for a stolen ID. So we're going to get that back to him. Now, being that we know the ID is stolen, we have the green light to search him. Hands up slowly, please. I'm going to search him. Now we can search him. 
And let's see. No illegal items on him. If we found a, uh, an illegal item, we'll be able to uh, charge him for that. We're able to arrest him for that. We can't, like I said, we can't uh, stack charges right now. It's going to come, um, the developers are in the works uh, adding that so we could charge them with multiple things. But for now, we only could arrest them for one charge, so it's going to be a uh, stolen ID. The reason why you're under arrest is because you're carrying a stolen ID. Please, That's 15 points. And now uh, we searched them already. We just called for our transport. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. Hello, officer. Righty. So, just as I say, um, these small infractions can lead to a lot of other things. Oh, I thought he was going to pass me. So that's how you want to rack up points. Um. Okay, partner. I'm here to take the suspect into custody. Please cooperate and come with me to the patrol car. Cause um sometimes like, you know it's you know when you first start out you're gonna find yourself towing, uh cars a lot, uh, until you unlock new things. That's okay, but eventually as you progress you want to start interaction up. We got a suspect fleeing. So when you see when you get the if you see some oh he was doing vandalism I just saw it on the wall. When you see a suspect fleeing, you can go after him and arrest him. But if you just if you just see somebody like running around and you don't get that um, that cue, um, don't go after him because uh, you're gonna lose conduct points. So we're gonna stop. Put to your taste hands him. Up. Uh, dang. At the same time, we had a stolen watch. So this guy was doing vandalism. So we are. Um, Let's get his ID first. ID, please. Sure. Here you go, officer. We just had a wallet theft there, but I can't be everywhere. And we help that lady out. Okay, so we check. He's just not allowed to have a gun. He doesn't have a gun permit. Get this back to him. Um, now, vandalism in this game is not a restful offense, but you make sure you give him. Uh, let's just search him first because the fact that he's um, fleeing he's a fleeing suspect we have grounds to search him. he's gonna be slowly, he's gonna please. be under arrest for, um, from fleeing so if you see somebody flee like suspect is fleeing automatic you can arrest him okay now he has a spray can that's enough evidence um, now we could charge him I'm for vandalism. a ticket for graffiti vandalism that will be around four hundred to a thousand dollars I don't have that much money. And now we can cuff him for fleeing. You're under arrest for resisting law enforcement. Orders. Now what? When you when you catch a fleeing suspect, you only get five points. I think that should be a little bit higher. Uh, so we only got 15 points out. It's a well, we're gonna get 30 points max because we're gonna call backup for transport. That's gonna be 15. I repeat, backup requested. Copy that. The nearest available unit will be sent to your current location. All right, we're gonna help this lady out real quick. Wasn't no, able to get her wallet. Stole my wallet. We give her the death report. Actually, stolen belongings cannot be returned to you today. Please take your report. Seriously? A report? I want my wallet back. Um, you won't get the death, uh, you won't get the Lawrence Anita, um, wallet death, um, call outs until, until later. It's actually not a call out, it's, um, uh, it's something you have to observe, but, um, you will get that, um, later on in the game, so we get, Everything's let her fine. go. You're good to go. Bye. Um, so now, as I was mentioning before, you're doing, um, you know, you're a new player. Um, once you get the equip pullover sign, you could use this too to stop cars. You just got to make sure you observe an infraction on the car before you have them stop. So make sure they're stopped in traffic so you can, um, so you can, um, observe or witness the infraction. Sometimes when you tune, when you use the intuition button like this, it tell you if there's an infraction on the vehicle. So let's get in front of this guy. And now 
on uh, PlayStation, once you have this sign equipped on PlayStation, it's um, L2, and on Xbox, it's LT. So we hold, we hold that down, and now we're gonna hit R2. Hey, pull over your vehicle. I want to talk with you. So you zoom in with L2 like this, and then you push R2 for the action. And Xbox is LT, then RT. So now she's gonna stop and pull over. The reason we're pulling over because she has a broken windshield. So she should pull over. And let's see. And she went forward. Let's just do it one more time. Hey, pull over your vehicle. I want to talk with you. So she's probably trying to find a right parking spot. A parking spot. So we'll just get out the way and we get screen. Let's see. Let's see if we can interact with her now. Cause she stopped in the middle of traffic. No. Okay. Oh, it's a car there. That's in her way. So let's see if she pulls over. All right. She's probably gonna pull over eventually once it like turn green. Can't interact with her now. Let's just just be a little patient. That guy just littered. So you just want to be observant of a lot of things. That lady will probably pull over once the uh light is green so that's that's just wait till this light change and our shift is almost over so let me see i'm gonna try to cover one more thing before we go let's see so she's probably she, she's possibly she could be stuck up oh, waiting for but like i said this is a really busy area and as a new player this is what you want you want to be in these busy areas so you can interact and rack up points as much as you can. All right, come on, go, come on, let this lady go through so I can stop her. Ah, she's trying to. I, I believe what's happening here. She's trying to get through the light. She's trying to get through the light so she could pull over up here. That's what I'm assuming. But every time she try, every time she tries, a car gets her way because it's people crossing. So I may have to uh, stop these cars over here so she can go through the light. Ah uh, man, come on. Maybe yeah, we'll find a way to get her through this light. Okay. All right, like I said, there. Let's see if she stopped. Uh, let's see if she pulled over. She should pull over. Yup, there she goes. She's pulling over now. It looked like she was going to drive away at first, but she was just trying to find a spot. So now we have her pulled over. We can interact with her. We pulled her over for um, the broken windshield. I pulled you over because it seems your windshield is broken. Yeah, I didn't have the money to repair it yet. All right, so we're gonna get her ID. ID. Vehicle insurance card, please. Here you go, officer. And <clears throat> motor vehicle stops are. Um, you could probably get more points for um, motor vehicle stop because the interaction involves more. You know you're gonna be writing them a ticket. If they're, uh, you can now get them out the car. Is over, officer. You can now get them out the car to uh, do a DUI, uh, do a, a breathalyzer test, do a, a DUI test for drugs. So, as you can see, she gave me a wrong idea. That's so we're gonna be arresting her. So that's a stolen ID. And this is why, oh, I smell alcohol. And this is why you want to, um, when you're starting off and you're new, you want to um, increase these interactions, whether it's with, whether it's observing people on the street or stopping vehicles. So we're not going to let her go. We're just going to check her plate. I'm just going to check the plate one more time. So she's definitely... Uh -oh. So the ve the vehicle does belong to her. And her real name is George Georgia Green. Okay. So everything looks good besides on her and she doesn't have an open warrant. She has a driver's license. She's not allowed to have a gun. But she she's going to be arrested for a stolen ID. So what we want to do now, let's just don't um get you her ticket. I like to do that. And it's going to be for a broken windshield. I have to find you for driving with the broken windshield. 
It will cost you two hundred. So that's ten points. Oh come on, that's so much money. Now we're gonna get her out the car. Please exit the vehicle and step to the sidewalk. And if you pull over a car, um, always know hey. if you stop a car and the only, you should be stopping them for, you know, some violation. You can always get them out and do the uh, drug test. So we're gonna do the DUI test on her as I'll well. I just need to take a sample to determine if you're under the influence of any illicit substances. And we got five points for that. All right. Let Let's me just check to see test. if you're under the influence of alcohol. Yup, she's under. We got ten points. So now I could either arrest her for driving under influence of alcohol, or I can arrest her for the stolen ID. It doesn't matter which one. Um, now, if you, in regards to points. Um, I believe they're going to be just the same amount of points. I believe uh, stolen ID is 15 and a DUI is 15 as well. Um, so now we know she's going to be under arrest. Before you search her, you can search her car if you want to. Um, again, always be observant. Look at this guy right here. Um, he's uh, drinking in public. We can stop him if we wanted to, but we're just going to leave him alone for time's sake. But... Uh, we can search her vehicle now if we want, so let's search her vehicle. Hold on. Because she's going to be under arrest. Uh, hold on. She's going to be under arrest. Uh, wait, oops, that's not her vehicle. This is her vehicle. That's my fault. So anytime you search a vehicle, it's uh, you get five points um, for every door. However, if you find something illegal, you get ten points. So we search the front, we're going to search the back. Um, again, that's another five points because we didn't find anything illegal. And it doesn't matter what order you do this in. You're always going to get the points. That's five points for the back. There's a wallet back there. Let's search this back seat. The driver's side back seat. Nothing. Got another five points though. Um, let's search the front. Drive side, another five points, nothing illegal. Alright, so we're going to call for tow eventually, which is going to be 10 points. So now we're going to search her, I knowing that she's going to be under search. arrest. Please cooperate. And I could be wrong. Sometimes I get the point system messed up. So if I make a mistake, I do apologize in advance. But let's just, um, let's arrest her for the DU. That's the rest of the um, drive under influence. Like I said, it doesn't matter, but the point system does matter. But I think they're both 15. I could be wrong. Let me see. This one may be dirty. Let me just You're see. Being arrested no, it's 15. DUI. I was correct. No, don't. Please, officer. All right. So now call that tow for a car. I have a vehicle here for towing. That's Can the you extra send a tow 10 truck points. To my current location? Tow truck will arrive at your location shortly, officer. And now we are called for a transport. That's going to be an extra 15. Understood. The closest available unit will be dispatched to your location. There's that tow we need. Wait till our backup gets here. Oh, yeah, probably stop right there because they're stuck. And yeah, like I like just as I thought. This guy just jaywalked. So if you serve somebody jaywalk, you can stop him. And just know, just so. Please do not resist and come with me to the. So just know if you observe something, you could definitely stop them. You don't always have to um, rely on that um, on that um, that notification you get at the top, um, where it points out to you who did what. Um, you can always, again, you can always um, if you observe, you can always stop them. Um, 
So that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, you always um as you progress, you want to try to get the um, interaction. Um, we want to get the arrests and stuff like that because you need to rack up points versus uh, going from car to car and writing tickets and towing. Um, when you first start off, you're really not going to have that much of a choice. But as you begin to knock other things, utilize those tools to help you out and trying to get arrests or get um, get in a get access see if you could find an accident because you're gonna get more points and you're just gonna um go through those maps much faster so that's um but uh okay i got a car here that needs towing can you send a record to my location sure it will be with you shortly so as i said the shift is long over so i have to make my way back to the precinct um, and just know, for most part, your um, just look, uh, just know this for um, cars parked in a parking zone. Um, just know that most of the time, I think all of them are. Let me see, shoot, justifies towing, justifies towing, justifies, yeah. So, just know another tip that if you have a car parked in a um, parking zone a special parking zone like if it's in a taxi zone a hydrant no parking zone too close to a curb on a bus stop street cleaning parked in a handicapped spot all these violations justify towing so once you um when you issue these tickets you're also going to be towing a car okay uh let's see we got a little backup there let's make our way to a precinct i don't know how to get back um the police car is actually hey, blocking traffic. So we're gonna make our way back to precinct. Let's see if I could. I think I'm going the right way. Um, I one thing I didn't cover is an accident. Um, when you when you're first starting off and you're on foot patrol, um, sometimes it'd be a little difficult finding an accident. But I will assure you, the more you drive around. I mean, not drive, because you want to be on foot. The more you uh, explore and walk and uh, observe the streets, you will find an accident. Um, we have a drug exchange going on there, right here. I covered that in my last video, but I guess, you know, we could do that. See, you got the indicator. Person was selling drugs. Uh, we're actually going to engage this. This could be helpful. So that's the person that was selling drugs she is a person that was buying see so we'll just approach him he's closer we got our taser out because he's gonna run we're gonna cover him this way there you go stop don't make me use my weapon and he's not he's not responding so I could tease him oh I, I'm taking too long but he's Police. not stop. No. 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 see See, I didn't lose any points for that. Because he wasn't surrendering, so. Um, I Show always like to ask for ID. ID. See what's on the sure. person. Here you go, officer. So, if you run into a situation where you know you're going to arrest a person, you don't even have to. Um, it, it automatically, you can search them right off the bat. Automatically, like, whatever. If you know. They have a stolen ID on them. Um, if they have a fake ID on them, if uh, you tested them for DUI and they and they fail, um, just know you, you can search them. You don't have to look for any other clues at that point. You can search them. So, um, being that we're not gonna be arresting him, we can search him now. Let me see. Now, if I could, if I try and search him, he may run again. I don't really know if I, I don't know if I really want to get into it. That's for time's sake. But you know what? Let's just uh, go with it. We want to get the drugs the first. We want to search and get the drugs first. Uh, for you beginners and new players out there, um, 
you're not going to encounter this in the beginning of the game. Uh, this is more towards the, uh, uh, this is more towards like the latter, the latter part of the game when you have unlocked, um, most of the maps. But most of the time, those drug dealers are going to run. Like this guy. Do not the, move! Do you understand? And a big reason they run is because they don't want you to search them. We're just going to attempt to search again. Now, if I want to, I can arrest him for fleeing. I'm only going to get five points, but me and my uh, stubbornness, I want to get the max points. So I will proceed. I want to search. search and get Please the drugs on. first, so I can um, arrest him for uh, selling drugs. I've had nothing to do with. See, here, there, just keep running. Let's see if he surrenders. He surrenders. There we go. Once they put their hand up, they surrender. If you tase them after that you will lose 20 condo points put your hands up slowly please I'm going to search you and so they sometimes they would just keep running and keep running until they're tired I had nothing to do with see it. he's so tired he can't run anymore uh, well and now he's running again so uh oh uh, yeah we just gotta reload here stop immediately if you move see? I will shoot you he didn't want to surrender I said stop Police! Stop! So, and it's gonna keep. And, they, and these NPCs could be very stubborn. Let's see if we can search them. Please cooperate for a search procedure. That's almost like four times already I've been attempting to search them. They could be very stubborn. Like, the most I went up to is like oh, seven. No. See? <laughs> it could go all day. Police! Stop! Alright, so. Sometimes if you're having issues with that, it's okay. Um, we already went. Alright. He will keep going and going. We'll give it one more try. And if not, uh... Please cooperate for a search procedure. Let's see if he, he should surrender now. It's been enough. It's been only like five, six times. But if he does again, we're just going to arrest him for fleeing. Oh, no. <laughs> He's stubborn. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. All right, this is funny, actually. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Stop! No, Don't no, make no. me use my weapon. All right, that's what I make sure we didn't taste her. So there we go. Let's just arrest him for fleeing. The reason why you're under arrest is because you fled from a law enforcement officer. Please step onto the sidewalk. Please, no. And now, like, so now he's in cuffs. He's not gonna run. Once we search him, we're gonna find the drugs. I have to search you. Kindly cooperate. Um, uh, but me, I usually like to get the drugs first so I can arrest him because, um, as I was saying, my previous whoa, he has uh had a switchblade on him too. In my previous video, if you try to arrest him without finding the drugs, uh, you can lose conduct points. Let's just call for that. Backup requested to take a suspect into custody. I repeat, backup requested. Copy that. The nearest available unit will be sent to you your current location. You should a while back now, officer. Return to the police station immediately. All right, so they're pissed at me. Let's go back to the station. Where's the station? I think it's up here. Person What's just up, officer? All right, so... Yeah, that's going to end it for the um, this video. I hope that was helpful, especially for you new players. I'm sorry that I went into a little rant um, towards the end with that drug deal. Um, I didn't cover... I did not cover an accident. Um, but... Um, I'll do another video covering an accident on foot. Because just know when you're covering an accident, when you are starting off as a new player... You're not going to have all those tools you need. So if you do witness an accident um, on a on foot patrol where a car is not um, accessible to you, um, you're going to have to use other strategy, strategies to actually clear that accident. And I will cover that in another video. So I hope, hope, hopefully that was helpful to you all. I know it's more that I could that I could have covered. Um, just want to cover a few um, basic things, but I will come up with another video to help you guys uh, 
cover um, other things that may be um, useful to you as you um, as you go through those maps. So thank you guys for watching. I think thank you to all my subscribers. If you're new, please like and subscribe. I would, great, I would greatly appreciate your support. And until next time, guys, um, I will talk to you guys later. I will. I may be streaming this evening. I will let you. Uh, let me see. Not too sure, but um, look out for my streams. I have fun in the streams. Um, get a lot of rest. I cover a lot of stuff. So um, if you want to um, learn more about the game or just want to watch, that's fine. Um, so subscribe to the channel if you can. I, again, I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, take care.